Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to look at their custom visual known as Forecast using Neural Network. Now, this is a fantastic visual and starts reaching into the realms of data science and predictive analytics, which is fantastic, but it is a more area, a more advanced area of conversation. But we're going to see how easy it is to implement this custom visual right into your Power BI reports and start creating some predictive analytic visuals, which is fantastic. Now, it should be noted that as part of this visual, you will need to download and install some prerequisites, but all of this is done easily for you. When you go to the Microsoft Store and you go to install this specific visual, you'll be prompted with a message letting you know that you do need to have some items installed, and there is a very nice, conveniently located install button right there and it will go through that process. What we're doing is we're installing the necessary R packages for this visual to work. Once that's set and in place, now you can go ahead and start using this custom visual and looking at data over time, maybe a different type of data series, and then as well as seeing the data that you have and you are presenting, we can now predict and get some results back from what the neural network algorithm has learned. And that is what this is all about leveraging the neural network learning algorithm, which is also known like as a black box algorithm or a deep learning algorithm. And it's really great at looking at non-linear data. There are quite a few visuals out in the marketplace that do predictive analytics and they're more focused around using algorithms that are great at handling linear data. But where neural network shines is deriving patterns where it is non-linear, which can be rather difficult. So hopefully you're excited and you're ready to enjoy. Let's head over to Power BI and see how we can put this custom visual into play. And here we are looking at the forecast using neural network from MAQ software. And the nature of our data here is just looking at, if we look at the data view, just the price of gold over time, so over years, very straightforward. And that's what we've input if we look at the field well here for our custom visual. The series can either be a time or numeric series, and then our value. Now do note, that what we're seeing in this tealish color, that is our observed values. The yellow is, is what our predicted values is. So, so to look through this, let's go right into the format area so we can have an understanding and where we can control this. The plot setting is where we can dictate the background color, the forecast color, and the observed color, which is very important. Of course, we can control the X and the Y axis, but the other main element here is going to be the forecast settings. Now the default is setting this to auto, but if you have a good understanding and you feel confident, you can actually control the parameters that drive the neural network. We'll look at this momentarily, but I did want to display once you have this configured, and it should be noted, it does take some time. Once you define the fields that are going to populate your visual, the algorithm, the neural network needs to run, and it's going to be doing analysis and creating predictions of your data. So don't worry if it's taking a moment, that is the nature of this type of a visual. We can see though, we do have some really neat capabilities with inside of it where we can actually draw boxes and zoom in to certain elements. By double clicking anywhere in the box, you go back to your main view. You can enable some spike lines. So as you're moving across, you can see how that correlates to the rest of the data, how we can see this is a rise and there's no other peak that equals this one as far as looking back in time. And of course, you may notice when we zoom in in this area just here, that we have this little shaded area. This relates to the confidence intervals. By default, this is turned off, but by turning this on, you now get a range, and you can choose, or you can see we have some confidence levels we can choose with. Lowering this number, having less confidence, is gonna narrow this range. So the higher the number, we're giving ourselves a little more breathing room, saying, hey, we're confident that the values in this time frame will fall between these little brackets. And as you hover over, you can see the information. So the confidence level here for 2016 is going to be that 1,373 and some change, while the yellow line is the, just the raw predicted line. Really neat, really powerful, but as I mentioned, we could go even further. If we look at the same visual, but in the context of going over to the format area and choosing to switch the forecast settings from auto to uh, user defined, we have a couple of choices here. Now, of course, there's a lot that goes into data science and learning, but we have some very items here where decay kind of controls the learning rate of the neural network. The maximum number of iterations is how many times it's going to run these numbers through the neural network and coming up with different values and then coming back with the best distribution. 
The number of units in this case is going to represent our series, which we're going in years. So this is going to predict out to 10 years from where we ended our observed. Of course, epochs is going to be the kind of rotations. So we're going to have 200 iterations over a single epoch. And here we're going to have eight epochs. Lowering these values, of course, has less iterations. There's less loading time. But there is this concept of overfitting, which can occur if you start increasing these numbers. Basically, you're making it learn the specifics of this data. So when new, new data is introduced, it may not interpret that as correctly. Like I said, we're working in the realm of data science. So there's a lot of information to understand here. But hopefully you can see very quickly and how easily you can now already start using data science or predictive model visuals here right within Power BI with the usage of this forecast using neural networks by MAQ software. So hopefully you enjoyed and thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at Pragmatic Works by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com.